let me just... How are we going to... Right, which one's... Let me just figure out. It's the victory point. Theatre. The capture point. So, it's the theatre we need to take. And I'm going to go by the wall. Because even though I'm going to get shot by these arrow towers, there is more space. So I'm going to rush these principes through. And then my other group in support. I'm going to get my cavalry in. Which can, you know, I'm going to put them here, ready to support. And I'm going to get my little mess of little collection here. I'm going to pull them forward. I'm going to get... We need some missile troops right at the front. More cavalry. I don't need them. I'm going to pull them off. I'm going to take these mercenaries and bring them forward. Right to the front so I can throw them away. Right. So we're in New Carthage and we're doing very well. Okay. So back to the story. Um, has Drupal... If I remember correctly... So he was facing this army. I remember, that's it. So you this happened over two days. So the day before, they'd formed up, sort of ready for battle. The opposing army was there. Um, he was supposed to be supporting Hannibal. And he I think he heard the sort of the, the horns announcing the arrival of an important uh, person during the night. And assumed that it was another, a second Roman army that had come to reinforce the first. Now realizing what this would mean for the battle the next day, he decided to pull his army out during the cover of the night. Yeah, that's it. So he decided to pull his army out over the cover of darkness. Um, Someone's getting shot. This unit's getting hurt. Pull them out. Um, but what happened was that the guides, the local guides who were supporting um, Hasdrubal's army, betrayed them in the night. So led them astray and then ran away, disappeared, leaving them stranded. And my army is getting shot here. So I'm concerned because this lot here are getting shot. And Oh, it's Ballista. Fuck. They're getting fired upon by Ballista. Right, I need to... I'm going to send a unit of uh, cavalry up to find out who's shooting at them. I'm going to send my other cavalry forward to attack their javelin men. So they've been misled in the night. That's it, I remember now. So they've been misled in the night, and then during the night they were trying to find uh, a ford, a crossing, across a river. And they were fail they failed to do so. They couldn't find the ford because they didn't have guides. And so dawn came, and the Romans uh, saw them in disarray and decided to attack immediately. Uh, the Carthaginians, as you can imagine, if you're lost, confused, and you've been marching all night, not expecting to uh, fight, you're going to be in pretty much the worst terms possible for a battle. Ooh, hoplites. Retreat, retreat. Let's pull those um, cavalry back out. Right. Get ready for the uh, charge here. I'll put my hoplites up at the front. Uh, with the heavy melee behind. And triarii to the left. So I just need these to hold. Oh shit, they're elephants. Uh... Right, I think I have a. An opportunity here to destroy their elephants. We have that same group of sacred band coming on. 
see, I'm just going to try and destroy their elephants while I can with my cavalry. Oh, they have another group of cavalry. I'm wondering if I should just charge with all these prince pays just while I have the chance to outnumber these troops here. So I'm going to do a massive charge to rescue my cavalry. We're holding okay here on the left so I can just ignore that. Pull out my uh, cavalry have started breaking. Let's pull them out. I've lost one unit. I have others routing. But there's a massive onslaught of principes here. <laughs> Go and stab it. Yeah, so um, as Drupal lost the battle, Carthaginians were annihilated. Um, and it's surprising that these that this battle doesn't play a, a bigger part in the histories because the Carthaginians lost I think about fifty thousand men. So you know, we talk about how terrible Cannae was for the Romans um, when the Carthaginians lost just almost just as many um, in the Battle of um, Matorus. Right. Now the result of this it was obviously that Hannibal didn't get the reinforcements he needed. Let's just destroy this final elephant. And we can form back up again. And it was actually in that battle that Hasdrupal died. So Hasdrupal, realizing that the battle was lost, um, engaged in a a glorious but futile charge. He charged into the thick of the battle, where the heavy, where the fighting was heaviest, and basically it was a kind of suicide, realizing that the battle was lost. And now the Romans, different to Hannibal, who treated councils well when they were captured, and. Um, they would treat them with respect. Uh, the, the Romans, on the other hand, ordered Hasdrubal's head cut from his body, firstly, and then flung by catapult into Hannibal's camp. So, I mean, just imagine, just just think of what it takes to do that. You have your, your enemy, who you call barbaric, and uncivilized and and all the rest um, but you are so bellicose that you make it extremely personal even though you're your own political oof we're getting shot by uh... there they are I'm just gonna have to take this punishment so even though your own um, politicians are treated with respect I'm just going to make the lines, make these lines thinner. Even though your own politicians are treated with respect, you take the head of the brother of the military leader you're fighting and send it by catapult into his uh, camp. Trying to, yeah, for morale or or whatever, but extremely brutal stuff it was too. So that was that, and by this point. I think after this battle, this was when the Roman, um, sorry, when the Carthaginian allies began to desert them in Italy. They began to realize that 
the Carthaginians were not perhaps going to win this war after all and they might have to rethink their allegiance um, so it was then that things changed for Hannibal that was that was the turning point and that's why it's such an important battle uh, and mentioned in these these military histories I'm gonna move these troops forward again risk the uh, destructive power of the ballista but they will run out of ammo and I can't charge I need to move forward on this flank I'm gonna keep the triarii in the rear as per their historical role and then wait I'm just waiting for these uh, reinforcements to arrive at the front the troops that I'm willing to sacrifice it seems they've run out of ammo. So that was the turning point for Carthage. And then after this, um, having lost Iberia as well, things began to look quite bleak. And then Scipio Africanus, as he later became known, having won all of uh, Iberia, driven the uh, Carthaginians out, then took a force from, I think, Sicily mostly, and these included the disgraced veterans of Cannae who'd been stationed in Sicily as a kind of punishment for their their defeat. And he took this entire force down to Africa and began conquering there, fighting yeah, fighting Carthage on its on its own own ground, as it were. And yeah. And that led to the Battle of Zama. Now the Battle of Zama was interesting because it showed how much the Romans, and particularly Scipio, had learned. We have Hoplites coming. Um, that's alright, I'll let them take the brunt of this little attack. Right. Where are my leading reinforcements? Alright, I've got um, archers coming up. And Velites, so I'm going to let them come. And then my mercenaries as well. Because they're my sacrificial lambs. And I want to let them bear the brunt of the attacks. Um, it's pointless having these spearmen up in the front. So all these back. We'll let the uh, hoplites take on the other hoplites. There we go. Carthaginian hoplites versus Etruscan hoplites. Oh, I also, uh, in North Africa, I killed Hasdrubal um, in-game in a battle. I'll show that little clip now, I suppose. Um, rather than a glorious charge to death, as was reality, um, I actually had my, uh, had my ballista destroy his elephants from afar, which is obviously far safer. Um, Mago, the younger brother. Oh, uh, they're stuck. That's why they're not coming. They're bloody stuck. Come on. Ugh, oh, what is this? Ugh, oh, terrible pathfinding. Oh, come on. Which units is. Not quite sure which unit that is, but. annoying. Oh, they all have troops stuck here. Bloody hell. Annoying. So 
They all seem to have got stuck in his way. Anyway, whatever. Fucking hell. So, what's going on here? Carthaginian hoplites, they're winning. Which is obviously not good. Wow. I have a troop of Velites. I'm going to bring them around to support the second front. Put the archers in the beginning. In the front, sorry. God. Have them attack. And then, yep. Carthaginian hoplites are incredibly tough. Which is why I'm taking this uh, defensive position. Might be time for me to send in the uh, extraordinary eye soon. With a heavy, heavy melee. And the Battle of Zama is interesting because as I said, Scipio had learned a lot about Hannibal's tactics. Now Hannibal had of course his uh, troop of uh, heavy elephants up in the front row and as expected by Scipio he began the battle with a charge by these elephants um, now, all respect due to him, um, Scipio had anticipated this, and through the war, through the Second Punic War, had learned how to fight Hannibal. And I think I've mentioned this before, but Hannibal used elephants often, and Scipio had learned, and the Romans had learned, that you can confuse and scare elephants with noise so um, he began Hannibal began this uh, f this, war, um, this battle with a, a charge of elephants as expected um, but the Romans expecting this had formed kind of columns oh shit here we go a charge uh oh this is not good. <laughs> Elephant charge. Oh, they turn their elephants around. That's interesting. So they'd form their troops into columns. And these columns, rather than bearing the brunt of the, uh, the elephant's charges, the columns were made up of the heavy melee troops, and then between the columns were light infantry. And these light infantry were under orders to attack the elephants and confuse them. So they used horns, they shouted, they, they clashed their weapons. They used any kind of noise they could to scare the elephants, knowing that this would... Uh, send them berserk and make them less effective. Hi. I'm going. Okay. See you later. Okay. Have a good time in London. Bye bye. So rather than the elephants having their um devastating effect as they usually would, they simply they were they were scared away from the heavy melee Romans by the noise and were and passed down through these columns between the Roman army and their power was completely made ineffectual. Ooh, need to bring my whole blacks out. Let's get these guys out quickly. My hopeless A's out before I lose the unit. Get them frenzied. Look at that. Plenty of blood in there. These are their um, noble fighters, very tough. And I'm just expending my uh, mercenaries, which I don't care about. 
while I fire on them with their uh, missile troops. It's a good way to get rid of a, a decent enemy unit is to use ones you don't care about and fire on them. In the meantime. So after the elephants passed through um, these columns, the light infantry followed them and then could take them out with um, missiles. So that took away the first elephant charge, which Hannibal had been hoping um, would cause a lot of destruction. Uh, the other thing that happened was that because of this noise, the right flank of the elephants ooh, dear, the right flank of the elephants um, turned and they turned back into the Carthaginian cavalry let's put them onto the noble fighters Triaria, I'm going to put my My Italian spearmen there next. Put the two fresh units at the front. The lesser unit behind, and then the triarii in the rear. With my hoplites retreating. So I'm going to pull them off the field entirely. Velites are out of armor, uh, out of um, ammo. Let's pull them off the field as well. And go back to. Now you see, it's worked. So, noble fighters, shattered noble fighters with cheap mercenary units that I don't care about. Archers are also out of ammo, so they've now lost both of their units of elephants. I'm just going to send them in to die because it's quicker than pulling them off the field. Now I can begin the main charge with my principes. We seem to have one at the front here. Let's push through. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pull them back and give them a rest. Um because this is not the place to attack. Do not have the forces. Especially down this narrow alley. I'm gonna move forward with my Prince Pays. Here. True Roman fashion. Rank by rank. Cut them through bit by bit. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Gonna form five ranks. No. Gonna form ranks of five, sorry. And. Several ranks of five, like this. And I'm just going to cycle them out. Incidentally, this will probably be... I don't know, I'm questioning how much more of Rome 2 I want to play. I've got already... Um, 700 hours playing the game and I don't know how much more I can get out of it until at least until the next DLC comes out so it may be time for me to turn to something else for a little while I was thinking of playing the Great War which is a total conversion war mod for Napoleon it turns it into the First World War so you're fighting First World War battles with full barrages of um, artillery and the like rather than Napoleonic era battles finish off Zama by the way, the Battle of Zama so after the elephants had been turned 
by the noise back into the Carthaginian cavalry, the Roman cavalry, the commander of the Roman cavalry saw this and took immediate advantage of it. So led an immediate charge on the Carthaginian cavalry, following from their own elephants that had disrupted them and caused chaos in the ranks. And of course this was effective and because it was effective Roman cavalry beat the Carthaginian cavalry drove them from the field entirely and by this point the Roman and the Carthaginian armies had engaged the front ranks of each had taken damage and they were in a kind of standoff um, in this standoff however the Roman uh, cavalry could turn around, come back, and hit the Carthaginians in the rear. And it was that cavalry charge in the rear of the Carthaginians that broke them. It broke the entire army, and that was it. They were done for. Battle of Zama was over, and the Carthaginians, the aristocracy of the Carthaginians, sued for peace on terrible terms, which they accepted. Ooh, we're being charged. Let's get my get my spearman up to attack their cavalry here. Should probably have them form up. So what I'm trying to do on this left side here is is be defensive. I'm going to let them attack me. Uh, hopefully without losing them all. I'm beginning to think they may need support here. Because they're dwindling in numbers. It's the end of my reinforcements. I think I can afford to take this group of principes here and move them up as the, the final line and that was it after Zama uh, Hannibal broken was actually the one who persuaded Carthaginian leadership to accept terms oh shit very damaged unit here. Oh shit, lost it. Fuck. Let's see how we're doing. Most of them are okay. They're down to 60, I'm gonna pull them out. You need to make sure you pull your troops out early enough. These, for example. Spearmen are now down to 43. We need to go. I also pull them out of a group so that I can remember. Oops, there's another one. Ah, lost that unit. Too slow. So it seems like, oh god, they've got another fucking force. More elephants. Ugh. Okay, good. They've not got much left. That's good, because I'm beginning to uh, get a little concerned here. Let's put my Triarii behind Prince Pays. Put Soki on the side so that I can attack. As they attack my Prince Pays, I can then charge with the remainder of my extraordinary. Ooh, go, we've got another unit. Very heavily damaged here. May lose them. 
After this initial charge, which has reduced their numbers, I'm going to keep my line here. Yeah, I lost that unit. So I'm not doing this properly. Pulling my units out too late, which is meaning their uh, routing will be becoming shattered. But I'm going to let them charge me instead, because I have my Prince Bay's formed up here. Pull them off. Pull these remaining spearmen off. The Prince Bay's off. And they should now charge my line of Prince Bay's. No. Maybe not, but at least we're going to hold. Or are they going to charge? 